Hey everybody, we are doing another zombie battle report. So this is going to be, uh, we're introducing a new style of zombie called the strong zombie. And strong zombies uh, excel at ripping down barricades. So I've got some scratch built barricades uh, around three buildings. And the premise of this scenario is there are uh, two openings per one human, uh, each is barricaded, and the board uh, is going to be inundated with uh, four groups of zombies coming onto the board, and two zombie piles for generating new zombies, and uh, the zombie's goal is obviously to tear down the barricades and destroy the humans, and the human's job is to hang out until round eight, uh, in which one of these three buildings, a helicopter is going to land on the roof and all they have to do is get up the staircase to safety. Uh, so that is the general premise of the, the game and we are working with four characters. Um, we have uh, let's see, over here in the light blue this is Guido. Got to get Guido in here. This is Guido. Uh, this over over here is Costello. Um, this is Abbott. So it's Abbott, Costello, and uh, and this is Shep over here. Shep's got a flamethrower. Um, and we'll we'll cover their weapons in a second, uh, but that's what's going on, and we'll go right into round one. Talk to you later. Bye. The wife isn't happy, and I'll tell you why the wife isn't happy. Because the humans had a very good first round. You see that? That's two out and out kills on his on her strong zombies. I rolled natural ones for both of them. Uh, I flamed two of them, uh, hence the flaming pink, and two more regulars died, and they're now moving in on my guys. And a little bit of background on this, Shep has got a flamethrower, so that's a fun weapon. He was able to get some people there. Um, Mr. Blue Helmet, Costello has got an assault rifle. He, uh, he, he packed a strong, um, and, uh, yellow and Abbott. green. Abbott? Dark green. Doo, doo, doo. Green and yellow, there we go. He has a shotgun, blew the strong's head clean, the strong's head clean off, and people are leaving alone, uh, Guido with chainsaw. So... We are on to uh, turn two. We'll see what happens. Bye-bye. Well, the wife is happy because one of her flaming pink zombies, because flaming zombies do more structure damage than just regular zombies do. Stop looking so excited, honey. The wife is tired. The wife is tired. She did... Here we go. She did seven points of structure damage to a 25-point structure in one turn there. And there's no one even there to like rebuild structure on it. And this guy did uh, four points of structure damage on this one with a whole bunch more guys coming in. Um, he's he's acting like I'm a stone, I'm a stone, I'm not here. Next turn, she's gonna have five zombies ripping that barricade to shreds. And um he took another pot shot at uh, a zombie. One of them went up in flames, uh, but one of them kept on walking. So if that flaming zombie can get there, it will do uh, two points of structure damage instead of one. And she only lost one zombie. So um, it's looking rather nasty for the humans because there's four openings. And they're very soon going to have four groups of zombies on that. So they may need to find a way to extricate themselves. We'll find out. Bye. Turn four, and the wife generated a. No, this is about right at the bottom of three. We're gonna start four. Okay, we're gonna start four. 
She generated a strong, which is very nice. This thing has gone from 25 structure points down to 9. And if I don't do something about it, it's going to be gone next round. Um, both of these zombies are now flamed by the flamethrower. Um, I uh, shot the guy through the super through there, so he was down, so he couldn't use his uh, his strength to rip the wall down. But his buddies uh, did a number on it, bringing it down to 21. And these two buildings are fresh, and it's looking like uh, the center building is going to get ripped open like a tin can very, very shortly. So Yay. it's going to be very interesting because they have to make it to at least round eight. And they're only halfway there. See ya. We've got problems. <laughs> that group of zombies tore that uh, barricade down, and there is nothing stopping their entry. Uh, starting this turn, uh, Mr. Uh, I've got a flamethrower. Did light um, her strong in that one on fire. These are also on fire, so they will get a free attack. I'll get a free attack on them uh, for attack factor one every round unless. Uh, they roll and the fire goes out. Um, due to the uh, desperate nature of the situation, um, this one here is down to 15 from 24, and uh, there's more zombies moving from the zombie piles to uh, help rip that down. So um, our uh, chainsaw wielding Guido has uh, bravely exited his building and uh, he might be uh, doing some uh, some helping, uh, ex some extracting, hopefully heads, to get these guys out of here. So we'll see what happens. It's looking uh, pretty nasty. Talk to you later. Bye. This is a happy zombie player because this happy zombie player just killed Abbott. So yes, Abbott with the shotgun just died. Uh, the wall came down, uh, Super ran in there and uh, hit Costello, and instead of uh, biting, or, or Abbott, I'm sorry, Abbott, and instead of uh, the bite causing um, Abbott to eventually turn into a zombie, just ripped his throat off. Done. Um, this wall is now, this barricade is precariously close to being destroyed. Um, we have zombies in the building. We have zombies charging our chainsaw wielding loony, who is Guido. And the smartest player over here uh, is, is Shep. Shep is the smartest player of all. He's just taking pot shots at people with his flamethrower. So it's looking. Not too good for the humans. It's turn six. In two more turns, the helicopter will be showing up on one of the two building, or one of the three building tops. So, we'll see what happens. Bye bye. Costello. Costello is busy taking a dump in his pants because he's got two strong zombies, uh, both within movement of him. He was missed by the regular zombies, got another one closing in on him. Very ugly situation occurring there. Uh, these zombies broke up, half of them are going to be going towards uh, Shep with the flamethrower, and these guys are going to be going towards um, Guido with the chainsaw. So it's, uh, it's and we are at uh, turn seven. Uh, next round there's going to be a helicopter landing somewhere, but we don't know where. So. We'll see what happens. Bye bye. We are at the end of seven. The helicopter is in the air, but we're not sure what building it's going to come down on. It's going to come down in the next turn. Um, Mr. Costello out and out killed uh, a zombie through the barricade with the chainsaw. Excuse me, isn't that Guido? Oh, Guido. I'm sorry. Guido uh, killed killed a zombie with the chainsaw. Through the barricade, um, we now have a plethora of big guys chasing down. Oh, which guy is that? Costello. Costello, and that's which is Shep. Uh, trying to get into the same building as Shep. And we got all these zombies. 
all these zombies moving towards that building and all these zombies are going to be ripping down that door and all those zombies that are going to be ripping into that building so it's looking pretty impressive lots of death and destruction is occurring so we'll see what happens bye bye well the helicopter showed up and guess which building it showed up on the one where there's no survivors in it of course so now I've got to fight my people out of their buildings and try and get them up that staircase so this is gonna be really ugly so <laughs> I don't know maybe it's just a, a I don't know gov government operator flying the vehicle so we'll see what happens bye bye okay in an act of uh, in an act of pure insanity uh, desperation desperation Guido drops his chainsaw so he's got no weapons at all but he's got his maximum movement so he is running around with no weapons because he sees a helicopter on top of that building and he's going to get there hopefully we'll see what happens these two guys um, see the helicopter land on the built the building in the middle and they're going to make a run for it to try and get in here and up those stairs before the zombie hordes can get on top of them. So we'll see what happens. Bye bye. Well, Shep got eaten by a flaming zombie uh, who got some nice little added uh, attack factor for being on fire while he bit him. And then I rolled to see if he got his uh, the the bitten roll or the dead roll and. Uh, ripped his throat up he's dead so he's going to be fighting through the uh, the barricade to try and get up the stairs to the helicopter um, he is at the barricade he will be uh, moving through the barricade to get to the helicopter with this group of zombies attacking him so it's rather interesting how they're all like around the building so we'll see what happens okay guys Costello makes it uh, onto the helicopter, this guy right here, so he actually survives. However, Sarducci was one inch short of making it there, and there was uh, only one zombie who could actually make it to him, and that was, unfortunately for him, a strong. So we're looking at a zombie... Uh, who's going to be taking uh, on Costello to get on the helicopter? So, no, it's Guido. Uh, or Guido. So, give me a roll of uh, 13s or less to attack Guido. Three. Three. So he gets Guido. The question is: Is it a kill or is it a bite? Two. Guido's infected. Unbelievable. Okay. So Guido is going to make his attack roll which is a whopping attack factor of one to try and get away from your zombie and get on the helicopter so it? yeah twelve he rolls a horrible twelve and he will get an attack of opportunity on him so give me another roll again for thirteens or less thirteens or less so basically guido makes it on to the helicopter but guido is a zombie so I'm not sure how to rate this game. <laughs> it's got a very interesting ending, though. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye-bye.